No fewer than 105 Boko Haram and Islamic State West African Province terrorists have been shot dead by troops of the Nigerian army attached to Operation Lapia Adoli after the insurgents attempted to attack Buni Gari community in Yobe State. The troops of Sector 2 Operation Lapia Adoli carried out the clearance when they encountered the terrorists on Saturday. This is just as troops on Operation Hadarindaji also killed scores of bandits in two communities in the Dusama local government area of Katsina State. The Nigerian Army, in a statement by the Acting Director, Army Public Relations, Colonel Sergir Musa, confirmed this development. Items captured from the terrorists include AK-47 rifles, one Duska anti graft gun, one PKT gun, two handheld hand radio, while one terrorist gun truck was also destroyed. And joining us now via Skype is security expert Roy Okidebe. Good morning, Ambassador Okidebe. Good morning. Always a pleasure. Thank you for coming on the News on the R. Now, in the face of COVID-19, we hear uh, Nigerian army has neutralized scores of bandits. How do you react to this? Well, um, thank you very much for the opportunity. You know, last time we had this discussion, we mentioned that uh, there was a brutal attack on the Nigerian army before the Chajan um, attack. And then um, we mentioned that in the face of COVID, you remember we were against the military being called into controlling movement of persons. And the army came out with a statement that um, they are not releasing soldiers for movement of persons. But that request was made, that intention was made, and they would have carried it out if not for the good press system that we have, like people like um, Plus TV Africa. So now that they have faced their um, primary responsibility, and you see, the chief of um, army staff has taken the onus upon himself to lead this attack, and he is on the front line with the troops. So that is a great moral booster. And I assure you that his presence there also, we call this um, misdirected fund release for motivation. It will also show that um, what Defense Industry Corporation is doing and um, producing masks, um, clothing, and um, the ventilators. These are motivations for the troops to show them that their families in the barracks are going to be taken care of. And the chief of army staff presence also is another cause of motivation. We seem to always get the news of defeat, as you know, and not of victory in some cases, in some cases rather. So is it a question of an imbalance in the communication or indeed our armed forces are all overwhelmed in most cases too? Well, um, I, I must tell you from experience that the um, Nigerian army has one of the best fighting troops in Africa. And we are fully recognized in the global fighting terrain as a fighting troop. But um, you see, we had so much distraction, political, ethnic, religious, and there was this uh, rancor among the ranks. And any time that crops up, you know, the Boko Haram insurgents, they are fighting um, guerrilla warfare, so they are also within. So they know when the troops are off guard. They know when there is a distraction. And those are some of the times that they attack, that you see that um, we record them defeat. But um, I'm, I'm, I'm assured that with the current trend, uh, things are going to take the right trajectory, and our suspect pattern is going to be consistent. You have seen that there's collaboration with the Air Force right now. That is another key angle in this kind of war. And um, what the Air Force is doing is the appropriate backup, the advanced destination, and routing. And the military will come in for more pop. And I think we are on the right track. Mm -hmm. I mean, the fight against COVID-19 is our collaborative and collective war, so to speak. But that against insurgency and the insurgents, rather, would be for the armed forces. What special cover can be availed of them in a pandemic like this also? Yes, um, this is the aspect that have not been properly 
um, looked into, and we have not seen any activities to that. So I will give um, Plus TV a big thumbs up for coming up with this angle. You see, in the fighting regions, the front line, it is advisable that all of these devices that the Dicon uh, Defense Industry Corporation is producing should be sent to front line also. We should have a testing center in the front line. All the troops that go for battles, they should be tested in an intermittent regular spacing. And the, the civil society around where the troops exist, those that bring in water, food, any kind of civilian that comes into that space must visit the testing center. Everybody must have a COVID-free stamp. There should be a badge that you will put on your uniform to show that you have been recently tested. If it's a medical personnel, we know how the span of testing should go. But within the front lines, within troops in their bunker, there must be active testing sites by NCDC created purposely to curb the spread. Thank you so very much, security expert Roy Okideve, for your thoughts there. And do stay safe. Thank you very much.